Oh hi, Jessica Lyon here bringing you another Tooltip Tuesday. In today's tip, I'm going to introduce you to a fantastically useful feature I bet 90% of our users don't even know exists. It's called Auto Replace, similar to that annoying Auto Replace feature built into your smartphones, except I'm going to show you a useful way to use it incorrectly. But first, let's look at how it's supposed to be used. I think you guys are going to love this feature. So you have to get to it through preferences. So control P on a PC or command P on a Mac opens your preferences. Click on the chat tab on the left hand side. And then off to the right here you'll see text input. Click on that and then click auto replace. First thing we'll need to do is enable it. So click enable auto replace. And then down here don't forget to click save changes. Very important you click save changes anytime you make changes to it or it doesn't remember them. So save changes. And let's just open that back up and that makes sure that everything's working. So it comes shipped with two lists, abbreviations and spelling corrections. Spelling corrections is similar to what you have on your cell phone which can be very annoying to some people and, and helpful in some cases. Um, but uh, abbreviations is more frequently used and, and I'll, so I'll show you how that works. Um, so abbreviations are things that we uh, use like BRB and uh, ATM for at the moment, things like that. Um, so opening up a local chat here, I'll show you how this works. So with this enabled, it enables these lists, okay? Um, so if I type AF AIC, which stands for as far as I'm concerned, and hit the spacebar, is going to turn it into as far as I'm concerned and that's because right down in here you'll see there's the keyword or the trigger which is the keyword and there's what it replaces it as as far as I'm concerned and you can make changes to these if you want so for example um, if I want the A here to be a lowercase I can type a lowercase click save entry save changes um, and if I come back to it then I think it was this one? No, which one was it? This one here. So if I go ahead and type that up in here now, AFAIC, you'll see it's now a lowercase letter. Um, and so this gives you a bit of an introduction into how it works and uh, you might be starting to realize how this can be usefully used incorrectly. Okay, let's expand on this functionality by using it in ways it wasn't necessarily intended to be used. Uh, let's pretend we run a club. We'll call it Club Firestorm. This is very useful for uh, greeters, club hosts, and, and so on. So I'm going to use that example. Um, so I'm going to add, first thing you say when someone comes in is welcome. So let's make that a keyword, welcome, and we'll type it out. Welcome to Club Firestorm, and I'm not going to put a period or an explanation mark at the end because I intend to have a name there. So I'm going to click Save Entry, Save Changes, and let's see how that works. So welcome, Jessica Lyon. You see how that just automatically fills in? So as soon as you hit that space bar, it finishes and auto-replaces the rest of the sentence. So we'll add to this Club Firestorm, um, and I'll, I'll demonstrate how you can have more than one auto-replace in the same sentence. Uh, so um, they're going to win a prize, so rats, and we'll type out congratulations. It's going to be quicker to type it this way. So congratulations, and save entry, and then I'll add a new one, and we'll call this prize, and let's say uh, what the prize is. You have won nothing. Save entry, save. So now all you have to do is uh, grats Jessica Lyon and then prize and you get the whole sentence comes in all at once. Another useful thing that you can do with it is you can import and export your lists. So say I wanted to share this, I can export it. It exports it to an XML file on my computer that I can give to somebody else and they can then import that into their Firestorm viewer. Um, and for example, I'll demonstrate that. Ed Merriman of our support team shared with me his Firestorm um, wiki page uh, auto replay settings so I'll click on open and there they are and I'll show you how that works so he set up one for backup settings and the keyword is BU so I'll click save so it takes it always got to remember to do that and so if I type BU space it pops up the wiki page for the backup settings um, another one he uses is um, camera for example C-A-M-I-S-S -S space pops up the Firestorm camera wiki page I hope you enjoyed today's tool tip on auto replace and if you'd like to learn more about it be sure to visit our wiki page on it linked right below here. Stay tuned next week where I'll show you how to get rid of all these annoying columns in the nearby people panel as well as all the ins and outs about the radar in people panel. 
Thanks for watching.